Hey everybody, my name is Ethan Ostroff. I'm a personal injury lawyer with the Ostroff Law Firm. I represent injured victims from uh, crashes and incidents where they are hurt and not at fault. Um, hopefully you never need to reach out to me. My information is below. Um, I am doing a multi-part series on car insurance, specifically things you should and shouldn't know to be prepared for the worst. God forbid you're in the worst situation. I really hope that you are adequately insured for that situation. But before we keep going, make sure to click that subscribe bell right below and stay along for our journey. So what we are talking about today is what is a no fault or a fault state. And the way that I like to describe this to clients is in two different situations. Situation number one, a no fault state. Why this is so important to know what your state is or isn't is related to your medical bills, actually. As weird as that sounds, it has nothing to do with actual fault. It has to do with who pays for your medical bills. So let's say that you are going through an intersection and you are in a no-fault state first. Then let's say you go through that intersection and you think you have the green, the other driver thinks they have the yellow, and you collide right in the middle of that intersection. You break your arm, the other driver breaks their leg. God forbid. In that situation, in a no-fault state, your insurance companies actually will pay for the first part, if not all, of your medical bills. Now, let's take the opposite scenario, a no-fault, or I'm sorry, a fault state like Illinois. Let's say that we get into an intersection. You have the green light, the other driver has the yellow light. You go through the intersection, you collide. You get out of your car and you say, your fault. The other driver gets out of their car and they say, no, it's your fault. And guess what? Your insurance companies are going to do. Oh, your fault. No, your fault. You pay for it. No, you pay for it. And guess who has to deal with the bill? You do. So if you don't have personal injury protection or PIP or first party benefits, and I'm naming all the things that they're called because they're called different things across the country, you are going to be stuck with the bills if you live in a fault state and you don't have first party medical benefits. First, as, as weird as it sounds, it's actually a really good law that your insurance company pays for your medical bills because that doesn't give these insurance companies an excuse to not pay for things that you need paid for. If you live in a no fault state, the insurance companies can't point at each other and say, you pay for it, no, you pay for it. They each have to pay for their own person that pays insurance to them. So it's actually a really good thing to live in a no fault state because it protects the person as opposed to the company. It's a very pro company law to live in a fault state. So if you ever have a situation like this, you get hurt, God forbid, you reach out, free consultation through my firm. Hopefully we never need to talk. If we do, I'm glad to help you through this kind of stuff. But before we go there, make sure to click that subscribe button and follow along on this journey. Thanks so much.